Hello YouTube, Reenactor Talk coming at you. Uh, I'm just going to show you some British kit that I got for Cold War, Northern Ireland, British Army of the Rhine stuff. Uh, starting over here, we got the uh, later pattern 68 camo or combat smock. Um, the first ones were the only ones actually called 68, but this one doesn't differ from it too terribly much. Um, the, the shades of the colors here are a little darker. Um, and the lining on the inside, a little different. Uh, the biggest thing is the pockets. Um, they're still sewn shut, so they're not real baggy or sewn down, I should say. Um, but right here, you see it's squared and pointed. Uh, original 68s are rounded. Um, still got a zipper and buttons all the way down. Uh, YKK makes this zipper. Uh, it's different on the Parasmock up here. This is the earlier type Parasmock, which replaced the Denison smock. Uh, funny thing is, someone's actually shown me pictures in 1984 of Denison smocks still being used, but they were uh, not the norm. Can't stress that enough. Not the norm. Uh, all this stuff is original. Uh, this one's pretty beat up, but uh, considering I portray a parachutist uh, and uh, I joined a 10 para living history group, so uh, I'm a paratrooper instead of the uh, Royal Marine I wanted to do, but uh, no problem. Uh, so you see the uh, flash, the wings, uh, knitted cuffs are definitely a thing for uh, British paratroopers um, that that was standard for uh, this particular item uh, along with that I have the beret this beret was made in order shot and uh, moving along here we have my 58 pattern stuff I don't have the uh, entire rig out just the belt um, the belt was mainly what was worn in Northern Ireland uh, for most of the duration and here I have a mag pouch and the man gave this stuff to me actually included uh, about seven uh, SLR mags uh, Six of them are in uh, the ammo pouches. I have one spare and a loose ammo pouch Right here is a 44 pattern water bottle cover with water bottle. I Need to get that attached though uh, kidney pouches this first one, I just have a rifle cleaning kit, foot powder, foot powder, and a towel. In this one, I have my mist kit and a bunch of pair of socks because he gave me a lot of socks in here that were in this deal. Um, right here is the pouch for the 58 water bottle. Right here. Uh, he gave me a crappy repro cup. Uh, he, that, those were his words, not mine, and I don't feel like showing you all that because it's just really is a crappy repro. Uh, again, this is the uh, other ammo pouch here. Uh, these are the socks. They all look like this. Uh, this is a loose ammo pouch with the SLR mag. There you go. And over here are my DMS boots. Uh, he gave me three pair of boots, two DMS, and one high top combat boots that replace the DMS boots. Uh, these are the combat boots. I have another pair. Uh, the other pair of DMS boots that he gave me are all sh super shiny, like uh, Buckingham Palace Guard shiny. Uh, and believe it or not, uh, the story he told me was the RAF man that he got them from had used some some sort of polish that they put on our radar domes and put it on the boots and never had to buff them. They, I can actually still see my face in it and probably use it as a mirror. Um, but apart from just this belt, I also want to mention there would be suspenders with this. Uh, H suspenders. Uh, very similar in look to the American suspenders for Vietnam, but they are not the same. Uh, they just look similar because uh, they're both dark green and they have the uh, H design. 
There would also be a poncho roll attached under here, uh, which I do have as well. Um, but again, I just didn't show it. Uh, this is just the basic kit that I'm using. And uh, if, you're gonna, if you want to know, I do not have an L1A1. What I do have is an M240 Bravo rubber ducky. Um, some of you may know that term. Uh, for those who don't, it's basically a dummy gun does not shoot it's made of rubber and the m240 bravo is the american version of the uh, mag 58 mag 58 was sold to britain and they they named it as the l1a1 or something my bad l7 so the l7 is their gpmg general purpose machine gun it is still in use today outliving the l1a1 slr and uh, all you really have to do for a rubber ducky is just to remove the uh, front hand grip there um, to get an L7. Uh, there are some other minor things as far as stamping, but as far as the big picture goes, uh, and that's a work in progress right now, it's in the garage, but uh, that'll be in a later video when I actually get trousers that fit because... Uh, Unfortunately, they didn't fit, and neither did the KF shirt, but the GS shirt did. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let me know what y'all are thinking, what y'all like, what you don't like about this. Comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.